What if I told you that this blade has a higher MOI than this mallet? MOI aka forgiveness. Doesn't make a lot of sense, does it? But we're gonna show you how it makes perfect sense. We're gonna hit some putts, and we're gonna show you everything you need to know about the Odyssey TriHot 5K. Let's get into it. Welcome to the world of wonder. Let the games begin. Oh, this thing's awesome. It's actually a lot of fun to hit. This is Mr. Phil Mickelson. Phil, it's nice to meet you. I know a lot about your bag. How much do you know about your own? Not as much as you. Hey, that's a good reason to put an iron in your bag. There's so much that goes into a just in a golf club. Do you see that? I got Joe Toulon here. He's a good friend of mine. He's on the tour truck. He's the best putter rep on tour. I have to say that out loud. We got Quintex set up. Uh, Joe, how are, how are you? I'm doing great. You know, I'm excited to be here with you and show you why this is better. Okay, so if you're going to test this putter against another putter, or just to show what it does, we need to hit the gamer first, kind of. Thing. Correct. Yep. Yep. Okay. So let's start with your putter here. And if you could, uh, while I'm starting to hit some putts, if you could kind of explain what we're seeing on Quintech here. Quintech's obviously like a, a launch monitor for putters. That's exactly what it is. Uh, it measures a lot of things, club and ball. You know, ball speed, the spin of the ball, whether it's side spin, top spin, that sort of things. And then it's also measuring the club and, and kind of seeing what your path is, attack angle, all those things. We just want to try to optimize that as best as possible. We're going to hit a couple of putts yep. with my gamer. Yep, kind of get a baseline here. Here we go. Okay. Very nice. From the naked eye there, it looked like uh, you kind of square that up pretty nicely. Face angle was good, and that's kind of what we're seeing there. Okay. So one of the misses that I have, because I have kind of an inside-out stroke, yep. is a little bit of a toe miss. Yep. So I'm curious to see how this one compares to the other one. Yeah, I can see how that would be kind of the tendency there, which is good. That's kind of what we've uh, tried to tried to improve on with this new TriHot 5K putter. So. Okay. So we'll hit one more with the gamer. Yep. This will give us a nice baseline. That there. Man, it's rock and roll. That was, a, that was a toe strike. I could tell that was the toe strike there, so. So, really quickly, so like a driver or a golf club, whenever you hit it out of the toe or the heel, you're losing ball speed. That, that is the most significant thing that happens um, on a toe strike or on a miss hit with a putter, okay. is the ball speed. Ball speed drops off significantly, especially with most putters off the toe compared to the heel. But what happens is, because the, the putter and is not moving that fast, it's moving slower than any other club you hit. Theoretically, there, yeah. <laughs> yeah, there, there's a dwell time on the face um, a, around impact. So toe strike, it's on, the, it's on the club a little bit longer than any other club. The face will actually twist open on a toe strike, which okay. will result in the ball actually starting to the right of your intended start line and putting some side spin on it. And a huge loss of speed because it's not hit out of the, you know, the center of the, of the club face. So Which means that it affects the roll. It's just like almost like downrange dispersion. Everything correct. gets affected by that. It just, the, the roll is just a lot worse because of all those factors on off center strikes. Okay. So let's get the, uh, the stallion out. Let me go grab these okay. golf balls. Okay. So I want to ask you a question. So if you can explain what the number 5K means exactly. Yeah. So we're going to have to recalibrate this too. Um, but 5K refers to the MOI of the putter, so 5,000 MOI. Okay. That is more than the majority of mallets out there. So, um, so what, why it's significant is because those numbers have really never been seen in a blade putter. So, like this. Correct. So we're, we're kind of taking a traditional look to the putter in a blade and applying kind of the performance and technology that you can get uh, from a mallet. So. Um, the other cool part of, of this putter is the forward CG. To achieve that high MOI number, it needs to be heavily perimeter weighted back, back CG. So back CG, which works for some players, but it doesn't work for a lot. The, the number one thing I've seen when we've gone out to tour with high MOI mallets, bigger mallets, um, definitely we can see the forgiveness. It's a lot harder to square that face at impact. Right. It's, it's, the backstroke is, is not a problem, but because that weight is so far back from where the face is, from where you're making contact, you have to work a lot harder, most players do, to get that back to square. So what that means is we start to see players start to miss those to the right. Right. Not everybody, but, but you know, a good chunk of them. Because the toe's not releasing. Because it's, it's a lot harder to release that toe, correct. Right. So okay. now we're trying to bring all that performance and MOI benefit to a blade, which is gonna release a lot easier. It's gonna be a lot, a lot more natural for um, a lot of players. So get that squared up. Let me okay, know when you're ready. Squared up. This is how they calibrate Quintech. Phil Kenyon, Stephen Sweeney, some of our Odyssey putting coaches. 
out on tour, this is, this is a lot of the work that they're doing is what we're doing right now. They were calibrated. So one of the things that I've noticed when Joe's working with players on tour is you, you kind of, players sort of fall into buckets. They, you, you find players that love this shape um, that will sort of test the waters with a mallet style. But like Joe said, you know, you have to sort of manipulate your stroke to make that work for certain players. So this is an option now for those players that want to stay in this head but want the stability and the MOI of a mallet, now they have an option, which is kind of a unicorn. It's never really happened before. That's correct, okay. yeah. All right, so here we go. So we're going to hit some putts. Sure. First thing I got to say is this, this shape, this is the number one. And we'll be posting some pictures in the video of the other shapes, but uh, the shape is amazing. Yeah, very traditional shapes. Um, that gave there. you kind of a cheater line there. We're not going to make it quite that easy next time. That was a good stroke. Though. Yeah. So face a little bit open, but the toe strike there, um, we've seen some of your numbers up in, you know, 0 0.5, 0 0.6 opening. That was a little bit of a toe strike, but it came down significantly to where that, that face is hardly rotating open at all. So that's this technology working. That's, that's what that is designed to do. See, the thing that I'm noticing is that, and Taylor Gooch said this about when we were at RSM, out of the toe, it rolls like you hit it out of the middle. Yes. That's, that's really bizarre to hear, but um, that's the truth, right? I mean, that's kind of the things that, that we experience. That's what we're trying to do. We're trying to make it so wherever you hit it on the face, it's going to react more like a, a center strike, which is you know, kind of game-changing technology there. So I'm going to hit one more normal, and then I'm going to hit a couple out of the heel and a couple out of the toe. Okay. That was actually out of the toe. That was the toe strike. And it still went in. See, what I noticed about that for the folks at home is when you hit it on the toe, sometimes it'll start right and stay right. That ball hugged the ground. Yeah, it's just going to be a, a tighter roll right, off the, right out of the gates there. So, you know, it's not struggling to get to the hole. You know, miss hits, loss of speed. When there's a loss of speed, it's going to break more right. when there's break around the hole. So a lot of times you'll, you know, you complain about, oh, that one just died and maybe it's a revolution short of the hole or oh, that died and, and kind of lipped out low side. You know, golf is a game of inches and, and that's no more evident than on the putting green. Another one out of the toe. Yeah. So what I'm noticing, this is where the ball speed thing kicks in, I think. It's almost like a full shot with like a seven iron. If you hit out of the toe, that loss of speed means it's going to come up short, it's going to fly to the right, it's going to float. Mm -hmm. That little extra burst of energy that you're getting is keeping the ball speed down range or down putt and it's allowing it to hold its line a little bit better. Yep. So very rarely with putters can you actually feel the technology off the face. Are you feeling anything during your stroke? Like coming, especially from you coming from a toe hang mallet to a more traditional blade, is there anything you're picking up on during the stroke? It's just easier for me to release the putter, mm -hmm. if anything. I mean. Like I tend, to, I tend to try to almost like hook my putts. Yeah. And I feel like I can do that and I don't have any fear of hitting it out of the toe because I know my, my odds of actually keeping it online out of the toe mm -hmm. are there. Yeah. Which, you know, you get a traditional, like if you take a Toulon San Diego traditional milled putter, that's one of the fears. If I catch it out of the toe, I don't know if I'm going to be able to keep it online. Mm -hmm. So let's hit, uh, I'm going to hit one out of the heel, Joe. Okay. I'm actually going to just try and hit it out of the heel and yep. see what happens here. There's a heel strike. And I'm telling you what, for a heel strike, that ball rolled pretty good. Mm -hmm. Like usually heel strikes are going to come out side. I mean, especially that far out in the heel, it's going to come out sideways. Yeah, so I, th I mean, I think one of the biggest misconceptions with tour players, you know, just from the people watching them on the weekend, they probably don't think tour players miss the middle of the putter face right. very often. And that's, uh, that's completely false. Okay. Um, they might not miss it n nearly as much as, you know, the regular golfers out there but it's as important to them as it is to you know, those golfers. This is for sure gonna help the average golfer. It's definitely gonna help tour players too. These off-center strikes are gonna react a lot more like a center strike, which means the ball speed's gonna be a lot more consistent, the side spin's gonna be a lot more consistent. Ultimately, that means that ball, instead of on a 45-foot putt, it's gonna end up you know, three feet away from the hole rather than four and a half. And right. you look at the percentages of makes from, from those distances even, it's massive. So the, as close as you can get the your lag putt, 
that that's that's huge to tour players. It's huge to it's huge to everybody. Yeah, I mean, I heard uh, I heard your dad say this when we were over in, uh, at RSM with uh, Taylor Gooch, and he said it to a couple of players is based on the data with this and the testing, I think it was a half stroke per round. A quarter stroke per round. Quarter stroke per round. Yeah. But which on tour over the course of a year could add up to like 600 grand and quite easily winnings. Yeah. yeah. I mean, the, the, dis the difference between just making a cut and not making a cut and getting right. on a heater on the weekend, that, that's, you know, could be a stroke there. Yeah. You start to extrapolate that over the course of a season. It's a like lot of you money. said, it, it's, it could be Half a million, it could be a million, it could be the difference between winning and losing. I which, mean, which is an interesting metric. So, I mean, essentially what they're saying is, is that the miss hit here is going to give you a closer result to a center strike, especially on tour, mm -hmm. than any other putter probably that we make. That's correct. Um, so that's really interesting. So let me hit one more putt. Yep. And then, Joe, I want you to kind of run down what we saw in Quintec in a general sense. Yeah. I just want to hit one just because this thing's rad. a good way to end it okay so yeah. this versus this this versus this mm -hmm. so when you're looking at the quintech data we don't have to get super yeah. rabbit holy but yeah. what did you see what's the biggest difference that you saw so your miss is a toe strike i think we've seen that you kind of have an end to out path so a lot of times it's it's hard to retrace that path to, to hit middle of the face right. which is something you can work on but automatically by just putting that putter in your bag that toe strike is a lot more consistent with ball speed with face angle with side spin um, with toe strikes especially, that face is not opening nearly as much with the tri hot as it is with the Vegas. Okay. So what that means is start line is going to be a lot more consistent for you. Ball speed, another thing. Toe strike out on this, it's going to be a, a huge, a, like a 10% massive drop off in speed, which is going to you're going to see that you're going to, you're going to toe one is going to come up short, it's going to die low, break break uh, a little bit more. This one is just going to be a little bit more consistent um, all the way across the face. And this one's easier for me to release anyway. So I, so I actually should be in a style. Well, the way I putt, I should actually be leaning towards a style like this. That's correct. So with someone who rotates it like you and is a little bit in to out, you probably will need something that you can release a little bit easier um, to kind of get that toe back to square at impact. But I'm getting the forgiveness of a mallet correct. in a head that I should you're, be using. You're getting the best of both worlds. Okay, so Odyssey Tri Hot 5K comes with just the legendary white hot OG face, just a beautiful design. You got your weight ports down here that you can fine tune swing weight and all that kind of stuff. It comes in a number one, a number two, a number three, a double wide and a triple wide. If you have any questions, go to odysseygolf.com. I want to thank Joe Toulon for the help today. Uh, it's been a blast. Odyssey Tri Hot 5K, man. It's amazing. We'll see you guys next time. <laughs>